that guy in the pipes a weirdin. No matter what you ask him, all he answers in is Rrr! or Rrr! This guy? This guy are sick. He's been sick like this for a long time. People just ignore him at this point. And I haven't seen a single clinic since coming to Midgar. Looks like he's out of luck. Helped him after he collapsed nearby. Sounds like he's a bit beyond help. Oh, I'll do it. You've got bigger things to worry about. Just leave him. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back soon. <sighs> hmm? What's that tattoo? Looks like the number two. Be it scrap, or be it materia, there's nothing you can't get here in the slums. Yes siree, I've got some fine materia lined up and waiting. Come take a look. What am I doing? I'm walking around with my head down. There's all kinds of stuff on the ground, but nothing ever falls from above. No matter how much you look up. Hm. We only accept cash here. Everything President Shinra says is an utter lie, but you can trust uh, a venture or whatever they call it either. They can slice it any way they like, but they're just jealous of those living up above. Who do I believe in? It's obvious, isn't it? Me! Myself! I don't tell lies to myself, that's for darn sure. Great drinks and a great time. Stop by the turtle lounge. This way, no one find she really be not top or bottom, but. Hmm. Open the bottom drawer. Open the hidden drawer in between. Hmm. Five gil. Leave it. Out of the way! Move! If there's something you need, head in at the store. Hey, do you know Wall Market? No. It's a place in the slums of distant sense. They've got all sorts of stuff down. Put the way to it. Hmm? 
Looking for weapons? Well, that's too damn bad. I've got none to sell you. Know why? Cause the weapon store's over that way. Taking care of number one is the law of the slums. But to do that, you need a mighty weapon, right? He's my bodyguard. Bodyguard? You were targeted again? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm okay. I had Cloud with me. Thank you, Cloud. So, what are you going to do now? Is Sector 7 a long way off? I need to get to Tifa's bar, the 7th Heaven. Is Tifa... a girl? Yeah. A girl... friend? Girlfriend. <laughs> no need to get that upset. But... Oh, it's nothing. You said Sector 7, right? I'll take you there. You've got to be kidding. What are you going to do if you get into trouble again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Yeah, but getting help from a girl. Hey! You expect me to take you seriously after hearing a thing like that? Mom, I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I may be a while. Oh dear. Well, it's no use us arguing. You won't take any notice. But, if you must, why not go tomorrow? It's already late. Yeah, you're right. Okay, go on and make the beds. That glow in your eyes. Are you in Soldier? Yeah, well I used to be. But all that's behind me. I don't know how to say this, but would you mind leaving tonight without telling Aerith? Soldier, the last thing Aerith needs is more bad memories. We'll be passing through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. It's a little dangerous, so rest here tonight. Cloud, good night. I'm beat. You are, aren't you? Tired of this. Mm -hmm. A proper bed like this. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I guess. Since back then. My, how you've grown! I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. The city's full of temptation. Your poor mom would feel a lot better if you settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm fine. You know, if you had an older girlfriend, she'd give you some stability. I think a girl like that would be perfect. I'm not interested. I must have fallen asleep. Through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. 
I should be fine. You're up bright and early. You said it's going to be dangerous. I can't take you. Finished? You have to go through the Sector 6 slums up ahead to reach Tifa 7th Heaven. I'll show you the way. Come on, let's go! Don't get cocky. The gate to Sector 7 is... over there! Got it. I guess this is goodbye. You think you can get back on your own? What are you going to do then? Hmm? Isn't that a little silly? Yeah, you're right. Let's have a rest. This takes me back. I can't believe it's still here. Were you? Class? In soldier. Oh, I was first class. Hmm, the same. As who? The first guy I ever liked. Were you together? It wasn't like that. I just thought he was kind of nice. I might know him. What's the guy's name? It doesn't matter anymore. Who's back there? Tifa! The girl riding on there is Tifa? Where's she going? And what's she dressed like that for? Wait! I'll go alone. You go home!
place is scary in all kinds of ways, especially for girls. So we have to find Tifa fast. I just can't make up my mind. Hmm. <laughs> Don't make me spell it out. It's about that manor on the right. Oh, man! To enter or not to enter? Uh, I get so poetic at times like this. I give up. Oh, you're... What? Oh, what? You too? Oh, uh, you're Tifa's childhood friend. And you brought a new girlfriend along to a place like this? <sighs> oh, just what kind of man are you? Ugh, this is never gonna work. I'll never get anywhere at this rate. Not with my rank and salary, anyway. <sighs> I'm not in her league. Hey, dumbass. What's the big idea? Can't you see I'm busy? Beat it or I'll beat you! Welcome! Even losers like you may meet the girl of their dreams here at the Honey Bee Manor. Are you looking for a girlfriend? I'm not interested in a place like this. Do you know a girl named Tifa? <laughs> you're fast. Tifa's our sexy newcomer. But you're out of luck. She's being interviewed right now. Here at the Honey Bee Manor, it's customary for all the new girls to be taken to Dawn Corneo's mansion. Don Corneo is a famous bachelor and a bit of a womanizer. He's settling down now, though, and is out in search of a bride. The Honeybee Manor is a members club. I'm very sorry, but you'll have to leave. Hey, you there. Need a rest? We have some great rooms on offer, so how about it? Cats are nice, aren't they? This one's a little too big though, huh? Whoa! It's broken. Come on in! If you enter now, you may receive a free pharmacy coupon. Hey buddy, that's some buke you've got with you. Take it to the dawn and you'll make a mint. It's too early for lunch. Come back later. Oh, uh, what to do? Maybe I should just buy it. I'm on my break right now. Stop pushing. Learn some manners. Welcome. Please take your time. something about all this trash. It belongs to the owner of the weapon store. He keeps picking things up and dumping it here. Oh, the shop that even has a tank on display? But just look at all of this. It's completely worthless. Okay. One. Two. Three. Squats are all about rhythm. Big bro, I'm doing my best. How's this? Oh no, I've put on weight again. Hey, why not join us?
You after something? I don't want to hear any complaints about my storage area outside, though. Ugh, times are bad. I swear, that's what happened. <laughs> Can I help you? If you'd like to order, please do so at the bar. Hey, you've got to do something. Someone went in there and they're not coming out. And I, I can't hold it much longer. Uh, what are you doing? Stop looking, damn it! This is Don Corneo's mansion. He's a big shot here in Wall Market. Listen, the Don's not into men, so get the hell out of here. Oh, you've got a cute Goyle with you. Ah, so this is the Don's mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll let Tifa know you're here. Uh, no! Why not? This place, it's, uh, well, you know. Then what's your plan? Are you coming in with me? I'm a man. If I bust in there, it'll just cause a big scene. On the other hand, I can't let you go in alone. Come to think of it. First, we need to know if Tifa's <laughs> safe or not. What's so funny? Hey, Arith? Cloud, dress up as a girl. I'm sorry, but it's the only way! What? Just you wait there. I'm gonna go find a cute friend of mine. Aerith, there's just no way! You're worried about Tifa, aren't you? Then come on, let's hurry! Dress, please. Hmm. It could take a while. What's the problem? Well, my father's in a bit of a slump. Where's your father? <laughs> He's probably getting plastered at the bar. So what you're saying is, unless something's done about your father, I can't get a dress? I'm afraid so. <sighs> We're in a real pickle. Perhaps you could help bring him back somehow? Sure. I mean, if I don't do something, I don't get a dress, right? <laughs> really? It'd be great if you could get through to that crazy old codger. I'm at my wit's end. All right. I'll do my best. Come on, Club. Let's go. Uh, hey bud, got a minute? We need to talk. Man to man, what do you say? Mm. Really? Thanks. I I'm sorry, miss. Would you mind going over there for a second? Why? Aerith? Uh, gosh! I'm sorry. Now here's the thing. You know that vending machine at the inn? I am dying to know what's being sold in it. From what I've been told, it's not something a girl should be seeing. What? Why don't I go? Well, to tell you the truth, I argued with the owner, so now it's kinda awkward. Come on, please! Hmm. I'm not interested. You're on. Great! Thanks. I'm counting on you. Finished? Welcome. It's this much Gillen night. Don't stay. Stay. 
Hmm, this must be it. Buy the one for 200 gil. Thank you very much. Please come again. I'm back. Excellent. Er. Hmm. So what was in it? Spirit Reloader. Gold edition, eh? That jerk's doing some real good business. Well, he ain't seen nothing yet. I'll show him. Thanks, bud. I'm feeling motivated again. Here, take this. Welcome, please sit wherever you wish. Got another coupon today. Please have a seat. Don't sit down. Sit down. Hello, what would you like? Let's see. Sashimi. One sashimi. Coming up! We have a cash first policy here. That'll be 70 gil, please. Thank you. Please wait a moment. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Enjoy. Let's see. It was all right. Thank you. Here's a coupon. You can exchange it for an item at the pharmacy. That was the last of the coupons, so we're no longer offering that promotion. Keep an eye out for the next promotion. Ah! If you need anything, please let me know. Oh, you have a coupon. In that case, please choose an item. We have disinfectant, deodorant, and digestive. Deodorant. Digestive. There you go. Uh, what are you doing? Stop looking, damn it! What do you want? Ugh. I could give her that item I received from the pharmacy. Huh? You're just giving me this? Wow, I really appreciate it. Uh, that's better. Here, and thanks a lot. Nope, I just can't make up my mind. Here, you take this. You won't get in without it. Ah, is there a membership card I see shining on your right hand? Please, come on in. There's something in here vital for my disguise. I just know it. Sure, whatever you say. I'm going in. Tee hee, hurry hurry.
Looks like it's not in use. This room looks good. Okay, I'm sure. Please, there's no need to get angry. After you. Sir, this way. So, shall we begin? Sir, did you choose this room because you're feeling lonely? I don't want to talk. I'm, I don't want to talk. I'm used to being alone. Okay, okay, you moody thing. Come on, everyone's waiting. What the hell am I doing? Everyone? See, here they are. Alright, everyone. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> oh man, what should I do? This doesn't feel right. <sighs> Don't be shy. No need for formalities here, lad. Don't you want to wash your youthful sweat and dirt off of us? What's up? Oh, Sonny! Not as slim as you look, huh? Oh, 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 mm. You're so handsome. Bathing's great, isn't it? Puts my heart at ease. So what do you think, lad? Feels good, don't it? No, it's awful. It's far too stuffy in here. Hang in there. Count to ten. Ten. Nine. How old are you, Sonny? Eight. I'm twenty-one. You're less than half my age. Lucky. What do you say, lad? Wanna join Mookie's youthful circle, eh? Seven. Six. I'm not interested. Well, that's a shame. We've even got our own camp. Over in really sunny place. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, I'm done. Why don't you stick around and have some fun, huh? I'm so lonely. Sonny! I'm real attached to it, eh? But I'm giving it to you as a reminder of today. Until next time! This is some underwear. I've really got to put this on. Can't be helped. I'm here to save Tifa. Hmm. Oh, I just can't seem to lose weight. Hmm. Oh my! You shouldn't be in here! Ugh, a frisky customer. Eek! Stop! Nobody's gonna believe I'm a woman if I don't look the part. I can get some makeup here. I don't think so. Have her do you up. I need a favor. Do you think you could do me too? <laughs>
Oh, sir, we're closing. Please don't forget any personal belongings. Take care now. Ugh, I wanted a flower too. But I get so nervous in front of cute girls. I can't help it. I just tense up. Hey! Cloud! I bought a beautiful flower from Aerith. 500 gil. A little expensive, maybe. But I did get her name. I think it was worth it. Aerith, thanks for selling me the flower. <laughs> One kill. I'll treasure this. I'm gonna have it pressed and keep it as a good luck charm. I asked Aerith for a date. She said not even if I had a million gil. Her flower cost 300 as well. She understands business. I'll give her that. Working at the clothes store? I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. Uh, well. Make me some clothes. I don't make men's clothes, and I don't feel like making nothing right now. Cloud, I'll have a talk with him. Go have a drink or something. Excuse me, mister. You see, it's like this. He told me that just once. He'd like to be a girl, so that's why I need a cute dress. What? A tough looking guy like that? So how about it? Might be interesting. I was getting a little bored just making regular clothes. Then you'll do it? Yeah, alright. What kind of dress you want? One that feels... White, smooth, and sparkles, shines, sparkles. Got it. You know I got a friend with the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him. Hey, hold on. Wait till I get an image in my head. Mmm, that's good. Welcome back. It's ready. Go try it on. How do you put this on? Whoa! What are you doing? Yeah, it's still not right. A wig! That's what you need. I thought you might, so I talked to my friend about getting one. You know the gym? You'd find a lot of people there like you. Go and talk to them. Like me? Aerith, just what have you been telling him? Never mind that now. We got a pretty dress. How'd it go? Did you get a wig? Stop pushing. Learn some manners. You the one who wants to be cute? Cute? That's right. We need a wig. Yeah, I heard. But it'll cost you. Rawr! Only those who have mastered being a bro can be as cute as Big Bro. That's right. So you've got to compete with us. 
You're right. Let's do squats. All right. I'll smash him out of this gym. Hang on a sec. Aren't you a man? Cloud! Am I a what? Everyone around here just calls me Big Bro. If that's what you mean. Anyway, never mind that. Come here. Let me explain the rules. From the ready position, push switch to squat, then cancel to get up, and confirm to go back to the ready position. Switch switch, cancel, confirm. In that order, you got it? Yeah, I got it. If you can squeeze out more squats than him in 30 seconds, I'll give you the wig. I won't lose. Big Bro's wig is mine. You sure talk the talk. It's not fair of you to start right away. So you want some practice? I don't need practice. Time for the real thing. Go! He did this many squats, and you did that many. You're really something. Okay? I'm a man of my word. Here you are. Big Bro, I can't believe it. It's not fair. Shut up! Don't cry just because you lost. Ugh. Big Bro's fists of steel numb you to the bone. Are you going to change? Huh. This might have opened up a whole new market for us. Yeah, let's give it a shot. You've shown us something new and brought back my father's motivation. Dress is on the house. Walk more gracefully, Miss Cloud. What do you mean, gracefully? Oh, it's lovely! Do you have one that'll look good on me, too? How about this one? How about that one? Dad, what are you talking about? No, what are you saying? This one. Oh, I think it has to be... this one. Huh? I'm gonna go change now. No peeking! So, how do I look? Oh, you're no fun! You're... weird. Huh, that's really something. Mmm. Yeah, looks good. Looks very good. Oh, what to do? Hello, are you ladies also having lunch? Hey, pretty lady. Want a good job? Then go try your luck at the dawns. So you'll make a fortune. Please. Cats are nice.
friend is a little cutie. Come on in, come on in. Two guests coming through. Hey, ladies. I'll go let the Don know. Wait here, all right? Don't go wandering around. Now's our chance. Let's find Tifa. You. I'm Aerith. Clouds told me all about you. And you are? Oh, I remember. In the park with Cloud. That's right, with Cloud. Oh. Don't worry. We've only just met. It's nothing. Don't worry about what? Oh. No, no, don't take it the wrong way. Cloud and I grew up together. Nothing more. Ah, poor Cloud. Having to stand here and listen to us talk like he's not even here. Right? Cloud? Cloud? <gasps> Cloud? Why are you dressed like that? Nailed it, I know. Thank you. Moving on. I'm dressed like this because it was the only way I could get in here. What are you doing here? What happened to you after the fall? You're not hurt, are you? And don't worry, I'm fine. Aerith helped me out. I see. Tifa, what's going on? What are you doing in a place like this? Oh, uh... <clears throat> I'll just plug my ears. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. So, what happened? When we got back from Reactor 5, we saw this weird guy hanging around. Barrett caught him and squeezed some information out of him. And that's when the Don's name popped up. Yeah, Don Corneo. Barrett said Corneo's a real creep, so it's best to just forget him. But I couldn't shake it off. I get it. So you wanted the story straight from Corneo's mouth. I got this far, but now I'm in trouble. Word is, Corneo's looking for a bride. Every day he lines up three girls, picks one of them, and... Anyway, if I'm not the special girl tonight, that's the end of it. Sorry, I overheard. We're here now, so it's not a problem, right? I guess so, but... We can take the other two spots. You can't, Aerith! I won't involve you. Oh? So it's all right for Tifa to be in danger? No, Tifa's... Are you sure? I grew up in the slums. I'm used to danger. How about you? Can you trust me? Yes. Thank you, Miss... Just call me Aaron. Hey! It's time, ladies. Mr. Corneo is an impatient man. I told them not to wander around. I tell you women nowadays. Hurry up! I probably don't need to ask, but... The third girl is... Me, right? You're right. You didn't... Need to ask.
All right, ladies, line up in front of the Don. For tonight is... Blonde, burly, and beautiful. Um... Hang on. Uh, please wait. <laughs> oh, I love chickies who play hard to get. Mm -hmm. So pure and innocent. You can have the other two. Yes, sir! Thank you, sir! Shall we be going, my lovely? <laughs> At last! Just the two of us. <laughs> All right, pussycat. Come to daddy! Ooh, you're so cute. I cannot get enough of you. Do, do you like me too? Um... Of course! <laughs> you sure know how to make a guy happy. Well then... Uh, what would you like to do? Whatever. Whatever you want, baby. <laughs> I cannot hold on any longer! Please, a kiss, a kiss! Um... Why, why, why? Because... That mouth of yours is gonna leak information instead! A man? You tricked me! Too bad. Looks like none of your cronies could make it. You are the ones from before! What the hell is going on here? We'll be asking the questions. What were your goons poking around for? Talk! If you don't... I'll chop it off. No! Stop! I'll tell you! I'll tell you! I'll tell you everything! Then don't keep us waiting. I had to seek out the den of this uh, guy with the gun for an arm. It was a commission. By who? If I blab, I'll get killed. Talk! Cause if you don't... I'll twist it off. It was... A... Heidegger of Shinra! Heidegger of Shinra? You mean the head of public order? Shinra! What are they planning? Talk! If you don't! I'll smash him! You are serious, aren't you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Shinra intends to crush this tiny rebel group called uh, Avalanche or something. Together with their hideout, of course. And they are literally going to crush them. They are going to destroy the support plate. Destroy the tower. You know what will happen? 
The plate will go wee, and everything below will go bam. I heard there are hideouts in the Sector 7 slums. Uh, I'm just glad that it's not here. They're gonna wipe out the Sector 7 slums? Cloud, will you come with me to Sector 7? Of course, Tifa. Just a second. Shut up! It won't take long. Why do you think scum like me would squeal? Because you're so sure you'll win in the end? Because they've completely lost it. Yeah, close, but no cigar. How are the preparations going? <laughs> smoothly. Very smoothly. I've assigned the Turks to this. Mr. President, are we really going to do this? Simply to crush a group with only a few members at best? Why this objection now? Do you have something you want to share with us, Reeve? No. But, as head of urban development, I've been involved in the building and running of Midgar. That's why. Breathe! Flush personal problems down the toilet before you come to work. The mayor is also against this. Mayor? That buffoon just sits in this building all day, stuffing his face. You call that a mayor? Now. You'll excuse me, sir. You're tired. Take some time off. We'll destroy Sector 7. The reports will blame Avalanche, and the relief operation will be handled by the Shinra Company. <laughs> it's perfect! You alright? Yeah. You alright? Yuck. Man, this is terrible. Well, at least we got out in one piece. Or maybe not. Get back! Yeah, while you can. How's this? Let's turn it up. Yeah, while you can. Here it comes. Are you ready for this? You asked for it! Oh, yeah. How shocking! This will hurt! Time to burn! I'm not interested. It's 
too late. Marlene, Barrett, the people of the slums. Don't give up. Never give up hope. It can't be that easy to destroy the pillar. Yeah, you're right. We still have time. Ready for this? Not so tough. I don't have time for you. Get ready. Aerith, you shouldn't even be here. You can try to tell me to go home again. Can't promise I will, though. Say, if we go through the trains that are lit up, I think we should be able to make it through. I don't have time for you. Get ready. Not so tough. Can you handle this?